Welcome to the lesson that will get you started with the digital portfolio unit. Before we start putting our site together, what you need to do is open up Firefox as a browser and open up Chrome as a browser. This is really important. You're going to want to make your website using your private Gmail account. You do not want to use district's account because after you graduate from high school, it will become very difficult to transfer it over to your private account. So go ahead and go to Firefox. This is where you will log in with your district account using Firefox. So choose sign in. Use your district login. You might have to choose the drop down arrow and choose use another account. You would then type in your student number. So let's say your student number is 12345. You would type that in followed by at student.asd20. Org. That would be your username. The password would be whatever you use to log in to the computers at school. I'll go ahead and log in with my District 20 login. The reason you'll use Firefox with your student login is you want to go to Google Classroom to pick up materials. That's the only reason that you're using your student login at this time. You would then go to the class period to pick up the resources for this unit. Now we're going to go to Google Chrome. You're going to sign in with your private Gmail account. If you don't have a Gmail account, you need to set one up now. You would click on sign in and when this window loads, choose use another account and then choose more options. And that is where you could create an account. You need to do that now. If you don't have a Google account, you need to set that up right now. I'm going to go ahead and sign in with my private account. And with this loaded, I'm going to click on the Google Apps in the upper right corner and choose Drive. This is where you will put everything for the portfolio unit that you plan on putting on your digital portfolio. You will choose New Folder, type in Online Portfolio, and then choose Create. Since you want everything to be viewable when people look at your website, you want to go ahead and share the folder right now so that anything that you put in that folder will be viewable. You're going to right click on that folder and choose share. You're going to choose advanced. You're going to change it from specific people to on public. And then you want to say can view only. You don't want to give them any other privileges. And then choose save. And then choose done. I'm going to right click and I'm going to change the color. I'll make it red. You're then going to open that folder. You're going to do File, New Folder, and you're going to type in Middle School. You're then going to choose New Folder again and type in Ninth Grade. Because the intention is for you to continue maintaining your digital portfolio throughout high school and then beyond. This will allow you to save all the work you've ever done in school and to be able to share it with the world. I'm going to choose new folder again and type in 10th grade. I'll do new folder again and type in 11th grade. And then last but not least, I will do 12th grade. Now, since we're only focusing on middle school at this time, go ahead and open up that middle school folder and you're going to choose new folder and type in computer design. Depending on which other classes you plan on representing for your digital portfolio, you will make folders for that now. For instance, if you want to represent Lang and Lit, you would do New Folder and type in Lang and Lit. I plan on representing 3D Art, so I'm going to choose New Folder and type in 3D Art. Now again, if you want to represent other classes, you would just make those folders at that time. You would then open up Computer Design and do New Folder and type in Videos. You are definitely going to be having videos added to your portfolio from Computer Design. Then you're going to do New Folder and type in Photography. Because you're going to do a photography unit and put all the images you plan on adding to your site into this folder. As time goes on, if you need more folders to be relevant to whatever you're adding to your computer design section of the website, you can add the folder at that time. This concludes the session on getting started with the digital portfolio unit. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.